Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you ladies how to achieve a flawless base all while using affordable products. Let's get into it. So the first thing I like to do is apply my sunscreen because in the summer I feel like it's important to still apply your sunscreen underneath your makeup. I just feel like it also gives you like an extra glow too. And I'm using, let's see, I'm using the Black Girl Sunscreen, which is super good. Love this product. I have tried other sunscreens, but this one just gives you that, just the perfect glow. And I will never stop using it, so yeah. <laughs> and then I like to go in with my primer. I really like to use a primer that's more on the stickier side. I really recommend like the e.l.f. primer or um, the milk one. It's like the green one that's really sticky. I'll actually go ahead and insert a picture right here. But yeah, I think in the summertime it's best because your makeup just kind of sticks to your face. And it lasts all day, especially if you're in the sun. I think that's really important. So I just apply that all over my face and don't mind that like white stuff. That's just my sunscreen and moisturizer. And I just rub that in really good. And sometimes I even just kind of like let it dry down a little bit before I rub the rest in. And yeah, so it's gotten nice and sticky, which I love. And I feel like these primers are the best, like I said, in the summer because all the makeup just gets nice and sticky. And then the next thing I like to do is go in with my Milani concealer. I'll actually go ahead and insert a picture there. That one is really good and it's affordable also. I just like kind of like to apply that directly to my hand. And that, I do that specifically because that warms up the product. I'm not the person to use like a palette or anything. I think applying directly to your hand kind of warming up the product really helps with your application and it just comes out a lot more flawless so i just apply that directly underneath my eye like so and yeah and i also like to let that dry down and i just apply that in all the high points of my face so that I can have that perfect highlight and I kind of let that dry down like I said and blend it out with a brush. I used to use a beauty blender and I don't know when's the last time I've used a beauty blender because of how flawless. You guys will see in the end how beautiful this comes out by using a brush. So we're just gonna let that dry. And then I like to apply either my Evian water or my setting spray. And this one's actually my favorite setting spray because it's perfect in the summertime. It gives you that perfect glow, like I said, and that's what we want in the summertime. So I'm actually gonna use my Evian water today because I'm actually going to the pool. So yeah. Ooh, and it just gives you like the most refreshing feeling. And then I go in with my Real Techniques brush and we're just gonna blend that in. Okay. Like so. And you're just gonna lightly tap it, not rotate it in a circle or anything like that. Just press it into the skin on both sides. And when I tell y'all, it lasts so long. And I'm going to show you guys how, my, how I set my face too. And I absolutely love it. And then I like to go in with my foundation. 
around all of the places that I did not apply my concealer. Okay. And I also apply that directly to my hand. And I like to use a matte foundation, especially in the summer, because it just, like I said, gives you longevity. And I just apply it with a really, really fluffy brush. And this is the Sonia Kozik. This is a Sonia Kozik brush. And you can actually get these from Target. Really affordable also. And I'm actually going to do a more high-end makeup tutorial also. So you guys know what products are really good to get a flawless base to in the summer. And I'm really excited for that one because I, I have been loving a lot of new products that have come out. So can't wait to do that for you guys. I mean, I don't even use a lot, you guys. Like, I'm telling you, this base is top tier top tier I don't even use a lot of product in order to get this flawless base and I just take it all over my face any of the leftover products and literally I've used pretty much all of it that's the concealer that I was using earlier and I just apply that all over my face so that everything is kind of copacetic with each other and it blends really, really nice when you set your face with powder. So yeah. Okay, and around the eyes as well. I mean, I could put on a little mascara and just kind of walk out the door. And then I would do a little bit of eyebrow gel. But I'm going to show you guys my full routine. The next thing I like to do is go in with a darker concealer or even a foundation. I like to use these specifically. Really, really nice. And it gives me a flawless finish every single time. And then again, I just apply it directly to my hand. And I'm going in with the NARS Radiant Concealer in the shade Macau. I love this shade because it always gives me that flawless finish that I need. So I'm actually just gonna apply a little bit to the higher points of my cheekbones with a small blending brush, like so. And then also to my forehead. And I also really like to use a concealer that is going to because I'm not that person that is going to use like a brush because I'm, I'm honestly not that precise. So I like to use the brush that this concealer comes with because it just gets my nose contour right every single time. And then you're going to take that same brush that you use for your foundation. And I also like to spray my face in between with the Evian water again. This is the best spray. I first started trying this spray when I was in Mexico. And I was like, what is this heavenly, <laughs> this heavenly spray? And it was so hot out there. And ever since, I've been using it. I've been using it to blend my makeup out and i and i actually started that in mexico and that is why i've just been doing it all summer it is absolutely amazing you can get it from amazon by the way i will leave the link below so we're just going to continue to blend and you're not going to ro rotate it like in circles or anything i still press it into my face and look i'm still blending y'all <laughs> I mean, I take so, such a really long time to 
not even a long time, just a little while, just to really blend the makeup into my face because I really love a natural look. I don't want to see any lines, so I really take that time to really blend it into my skin. Y'all can see how flawless this looks. Okay. And then my next step is to go in with that same brush that I blended my concealer out with and just blend out any lines that I have from my nose contour. I mean, look how flawless. I'm telling you ladies, please try this routine. It is amazing, okay? I would not steer you wrong. I would not steer you wrong. Okay, my next step is to go in and do my brows. And today's look is just gonna be a really beautiful, natural look. And I like to go in with the Milani Easy Brow. And this pencil is really good, also very affordable. And I just go with the natural arch of my brow. I don't like to like over arch or anything. And you want to brush your brows while you're doing this so that the product is distributed evenly. And I like to bring my brows maybe the same length where my lip ends. I like to bring my brow right in between that space so that your brows are even. Okay, so I went ahead and finished my brows off cam. So my next step is actually going to be going in with the concealer that I used earlier with that same brush. And I just like to use a flat brush. So we're going to go in now with my setting powder from Laura Mercier. This is in the shade Translucent Honey. I just picked this up one day in this shade because I have been using more of a, the wider like translucent powder not in this shade like more of a yellow shade and I don't regret it. I feel like this gives me more warmth to my face and I just go in with a powder puff the triangle powder puffs the infamous Powder puff. whatever was left from the foundation that I applied. So I go in with my silhouette palette from the Makeup Shack. I don't know if they still sell this, but I will leave the link below if it's still available on the website. It's really good. It has like a whole bunch of shades in it. I love this palette. Obviously I've hit pan. These are my two shades that I like to apply. I like to use this one specifically in the day because it's a little lighter. This one at nighttime. And then sometimes I use both. But we're just gonna go in and press that into the skin, like so. And honestly, I feel like that, this specific shade, gives me more of that 
coral peachy tone and I feel like that's really beautiful on my skin tone. Any coral peachy sh shade is really beautiful. super good and affordable like everything that i use is pretty much affordable i love the higher end product but girl you do not need to break the bank in order to have a flawless finish i promise and i'm just going in with the shade 235 and pure beige and i will list all these products below if you guys want to try them out shade that matches my actual foundation in 330. Black lip liner in the shade Cork. So for the remainder of the video, I'm just going in with my lip liner, finishing out my look, and then applying a clear gloss, which is from Fenty Beauty. I also apply some lashes that I actually order off Amazon, and they are super beautiful. And then going in with my setting spray to go ahead and finish out the look. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Please leave a comment below of what you guys would like to see. I will be more than happy to do more makeup tutorials if you guys would love to see that. And if you haven't already, please check out my latest video. It was a reset vlog. I hope to see you in the next one. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. Bye.